Hey there, and welcome back to another day out here. Uh, we're starting in the bay, but we're gonna make our way into the sound. The other day I took it out again with very minimal stuff, without a crate, no anchor, no cooler, you know, just like very few things. And I was cruising at like four and a half miles an hour, but that was just so much faster than uh, what I'm used to. You know, the first time I took it out with all my stuff on there was like 3.75. So I saw probably a 0.5 to 0.75 mile an hour difference by losing maybe 20, 25 pounds or so. I can actually pedal, maybe it's like about a mile, mile and a half. And then there's a, uh, a place where I can put the wheels back on. Oh crap. I need to go get my wheels. Once I get my wheels, I can uh, bring them over and uh, make my way on the small part of land and then onto the sound side. That's the plan. Uh, it's a late afternoon. We're going for porgies and fluke i noticed there's definitely a different water when i put the kayak in you know there were killies in the shallow area the water definitely feels warmer to the touch it just feels fluky all right catch back in look i already got friends out here in the sound well that trick wasn't easy. I think it's gonna end up taking 45 minutes. Now at the porgies, if I'm right about the timing of the porgies, then it should be pretty easy to catch, you know, three or four for dinner, which is all I really need. Maybe get some underwater. Whoa, those are big fish. What is that? That is not a sea robin. Man, first I thought it was just a sea robin coming up for air. They do this like weird thing where they just like kind of swim to the surface and then swim back down. But that had swirl, big boy nature in it. I don't know. I have no idea what that was. Oh, there it is again. Oh, what? Has to be a bluefish, right? What else swims that fast? Yeah, I'm just gonna throw a piece of clam on a hook, drop it down. And the bottom is not, doesn't look like anything special, but you never know. There's a fish jumping, so. It almost feels like a blackfish. Like it's very weird. See that? It feels like I'm black fishing. It's so funny. Maybe it's a rod. Thank <laughs> you. 
it's Borgie. Yeah. Good size one too. That's one. I'm not gonna cull the big ones too much. That's probably like, you know, 13 inches or so. Just gonna, you know, quickly catch dinner here and then have some fun. So the, the jig head I'm using, it's really more for like gulp. I think it's like a quarter, it's either a quarter or a three eighths ounce and 24 feet of water. It's kind of like black fishing. I'm waiting for the little weight out, the little taps, and then wait for that, you know, sharper tug where you feel like they have it in there and they're looking to swim away with it. Oh yeah, definitely marking some some stuff. Looks like oh, they took me. They took me. So here you go, starting out, I began drifting, and you'll see this porgy sort of come up here, take nibbles at the clam, I'm drifting clam. Uh, as you can see too from this footage, I've, I've started to notice that porgies do seem to like the bait a bit more still. So you're seeing him there, you know, he'll attack it, but they definitely uh, follow the bait at a distance for a while until they're ready. Yeah, there's a red solo cup back there. It, it does seem, however, that when they are ready to attack, they come in pretty quick. You'll see here, you also see this, uh, even more so later on in some other clips. If you look closely at the top left of the screen, you'll see a big striped bass. Yeah, a really mean looking striped bass. Look at that face. But he's pretty big. I don't know how big, but definitely I think a little bigger than uh, schoolie size. Although these guys are very much a nuisance, they are pretty cool looking. You know, even with that uh, white balance right there, you just see some pretty cool patterns. So I don't know if you've already seen it, but there's a fluke there also following next to the sea robin. But as you can see, the sea robin it's taking the lead and yeah I mean it is just a piece of clam it's not something that a fluke should be going after all that much but but regardless um, yeah it just shows you just how much how much more aggressive uh, the sea robin is than the fluke I mean the flukes interested but you know the sea robin definitely beats him to the punch
Yeah, it's uh, another fluke there in the top left. So they're definitely around. That's a good sign to see some of them, you know, in this uh, in the sound. So the last thing I'll just mention is that this is taken in the first spot that I went to in 23 feet of water. I later on move into shallower water and the water clarity actually decreased when I went to the shallower spot and you'll see what I mean. But this is actually really clear for 23 feet of water. Uh, this is good. Got some bites. Yeah, here they are. You see the school? I mean, this is not the best jig head for this. This rod's not the best for setting the hook. Not the biggest. Maybe. You know, I'm gonna let him go. Feeling pretty confident that I can catch a bigger one. Sure. That's it. It's like the same size. I'll let him go. I really want that big, big one. Alright. Getting some love. He's on. No. Why we have this? Why is this here? Here we go. Doesn't feel really porgyish. No, what happened? Why did they? Oh no. Porky came off. Right, let's give him the guts. I love the guts. Right, this will catch him. Oh, 
I'm not going to be too picky anymore because <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, he's not huge. But he's not small. Alright, getting back to some more underwater footage. Just showing you how many porgies were down there at a certain point. And look at all those porgies. They would come and go though. It wasn't... They weren't staying in the same place and I was moving around a bit, but I would hit hit a patch of them and then they would go away. So here you're just seeing them in the background. Some of the porgies taking looks at it, kind of swimming away, kind of coming in. Uh, definitely, you can drift too quickly for porgies. That's, that's what I'm finding. Another thing to note too is that I did switch the bait to squid. I was trying to, ho you know, hoping actually that a fluke would take it more so, but. You know, still there's just so many porgies around, and uh, yeah, they're they're going, they're hitting it. Probably not as frequently as the clam, but they're they're hitting the squid. If you look closely at the bottom of the screen here while the sea robin's looking at us, you'll see that Porgy got the bait and he actually stole it from this one. Here's an example of what I was talking about, just how fast a Porgy can actually swim when he wants to. You'll see here that even uh, porgies can get startled by something like the weight. Here starts out with a, just a sea robin chasing, but soon you'll see a porgy in the background start chasing. And just watch how much faster the porgy, yeah right there, how he can just accelerate so much faster. Now you've seen clips from the shallower area I tried. I actually did better in this area with more porgy uh, catches. But this is uh, cloudier water for whatever reason. You see here there's some uh, good shots of, of a porgy uh, taking the bait here. Oh, there. Okay, I just...
just saw a weak fish try to hit it. Okay. Alright, well that's gonna do it for this one. Yeah, pretty good day. Got some porgy, so I'll have a meal. Hopefully some underwater came out. It looked like it was uh, coming out there in like 20-25 feet of water, so... Should have some footage. I guess you already saw it. Hopefully that's good. Maybe we can see a fluke. That's the goal. I wanted to really see, you know, if there's fluke or... You know, I want to see what's out there on the sound. Saw a lot of surface action. Couldn't really tell what it was, but there's a lot of commotion. Same thing in the bay on the way back. Uh, you know, I tried for weak fish. I did have one chase it right near the bow. I don't know if it came out. Probably not. Anyways, you guys see some more surface action. It's definitely uh, coming alive here. And the water temps are up there. 65. Beautiful, beautiful calm day. Thank you to get out and uh, catch some fish. So stick around and uh, see you on the next one.